On Friday I promised faithfully to come home and iron some clothes, for we were off to sunny Spain to brown our back and dunk our toes. But then at work at lunchtime I was taken to the pub. We had a laugh, drank some beer and topped into some grub. Now it's happy hour on Fridays and we know the barman well. I was invited back after work, well, okay, what the hell? Just as I was leaving, I was told I'd missed the fun. My friend begged me to stay and bought me a Guinness and a rum. Now listen guys, I've got to go, my wife will have my hide. I'm packing for Spain tonight, to stay would be suicide. I have to do the ironing and pack and get to bed. Now I'm one for an easy life, so I'll do what my wife has said. Then someone said that I should put my wife into her place. By staying out drinking with my friends, we're not staying out that late. They said before she shouted I should throw the front door wide. I should demand my dinner. They were joking it was implied. And so I stayed out drinking, and when my friend went home, I went on to a nightclub, I went there on my own, and I had so much to drink that I was feeling free, and the advice that I'd heard earlier then made perfect sense to me. I strode home after midnight, and I swung the front door wide, before my wife had time to shout and the cat had time to hide. I made demands that straight away my supper she should bring. Then a flying boot hit me and I got my head kicked in. They let me out of casualty in time to make the flight. We slept in different beds and rooms every single night. We only met for meals when she needed me to pay. Then she'd read her books on the beach, avoiding me all day. I wouldn't talk to woman in case that made things worse. I drank alone, propped up the bar, I'd swear and blind and curse. I'd count the hours and count the days and hope that she'll forgive. And thank my lucky stars that my wife has let me live. In future I'll be more careful when listening to advice. I'll consider the consequences and how they affect my life. I think about my wife and how she might react. And maybe if I'm careful, I'll keep my balls intact.